What's up? No, seriously, what's up? What's up? What's up, YouTube? I hate that voice. What is up, YouTube? It's been a few weeks. I'm sorry. I am here today to give you all the answers that you'll ever need. I asked you guys on Twitter to send me any and every question that you've ever had about Darkest Hour, the song, the music video, how it came to be, who, who it's about. And so I'm gonna answer all those for you today. Let's do it, I'm in my kitchen. When you made Darkest Hour, did you have an idea of what the music video would be like or did you have a different vision of what could have been the music video? So Darkest Hour was the second song I've ever written, which is important because I've obviously written a lot of poetry in the past, my like stupid, well, they're not stupid. Love yourself, they're great. My poems that I've tweeted out or posted on Tumblr over the years, um, you know, those old things. So I've always liked to write, but I didn't really understand the construct of writing a song in like verse, bridge, pre, chorus, that kind of thing. And so when we wrote Darkest Hour, I was still so new to it and I didn't really understand the process. And so naturally me being an oversharer, I just kind of word vomited and everything just kind of came out. And I'm really thankful for that because I was overly honest, brutally honest. And because of that, I was able to create this super vulnerable, super honest song that you all have heard. Hopefully. So I didn't really have a vision. I didn't really have an idea. I didn't even know what to expect, what would come of it, but I'm so happy and thankful for what did become. When did you write it? Almost a year after it was released. It was almost exactly a year. I have videos from my Snapchat memories of me being in the studio recording it. And I remember I was so nervous. I had never really like sang in a studio before. And I was like, tell me that she'll be there in my darkest hour. If you could hear the demo, like when we first recorded it. Ooh. What was your favorite part of bringing the song to life in the music video? I loved the whole process of the music video because as you guys know, I've been in multiple music videos for other people. And so to do it for my own song was so fucking awesome. Like the whole creative process was really cool. My favorite part was just having so much creative input into it because it was my own and like having a say in what I wanted and what I wanted it to look like was really, really cool. What made you choose Darkest Hour as your first ever song released? My second single is what I originally wanted my first single to be, but I'm really glad we went with Darkest Hour. I think it's a really vulnerable and really honest song, which I feel like really fits what I've always been about with my online presence. I've always been really uncomfortably honest when I'm going through anything good, bad, the pretty, the ugly. And so I feel like this was a really smooth transition of like, I'm still me, we're just doing it in a musical way. <laughs> what was the hardest part about the writing process for Darkest Hour? I think the hardest part was just being vulnerable with someone that I barely knew. I mean, now my writing partner is like, I could literally just walk in and be like, here's my trauma. <laughs> but that's how the best art is made. It's just by being honest and talking about the things you're going through and making something beautiful out of something not so pretty. Was it hard emotionally to record in the studio? There were times where I felt like it was like a little emotional, but it never got emotional. I'm unfortunately very good at cutting that off when I feel like I'm about to get emotional. I'm pretty good at being like, ah, bury it. You'll do this shit later. Cry when you get home. So I didn't really let it get emotional, but I have found that I want to allow myself to get emotional when I'm recording because that gives the song more meaning and just like, you can, I don't know. I always like when I can hear emotion in songs. So I'm working on being more honest with my emotions while singing rather than just singing. What's your favorite part of the video? If you haven't seen the video, first of all, go watch it. I think my favorite part of the video is the sequence where I'm like at home alone and I'm like drinking and smoking and taking pills because that was such an embarrassing part of my reality for so long that I didn't think I'd ever have the strength to share with anyone. And then over the last six months, even before the video was shot, I started opening up to people and just the love and support and encouragement I got to share it and be vocal and open was everything I needed to make me wanna share the story with even more people. And even since the video came out, I've gotten so many messages about people being like, I get it, I'm going through this. Like, thank you for sharing and making me feel not so alone. So that's like the best positive reinforcement I could ever get. What was the hardest or most stressful part of the music video? Ooh. Um, I think the most stressful part of the music video was the very opening scene where I'm like walking out of the apartment building and 
he's yelling at me. Because even though it was fake and it was staged and I knew it was gonna happen, I just, when people yell at me, it just does something to me. It freaks me out and I shut down a little bit. And so I had to really force myself to be like, this is fake and it's for filming and it's gonna happen and we're gonna shoot it again and again. And I am okay and I am safe and everything's fine and it's fake, but we got through it and it came out really, really great. How long did it take to film the music video? It was a two day shoot, but it was weeks of preparation. But I'm so, so happy with how it turned out. I mean, if you haven't seen it, you gotta go watch it. How did shooting the video work with COVID? So we actually had everyone on set who was gonna be there get tested prior, made sure everybody had a negative test. I've never had more anxiety in my life. Even though I knew it would be negative, I was like, what if I'm positive and I fuck it up for everyone? So much anxiety, but everyone was negative. So it worked out really good and Nobody got COVID. What songwriting resources did you study? Would love to hear your experience with singing lessons as well. How long did it take before you felt confident in the control in your voice? So I actually took vocal lessons for about a year and a half, a year, maybe two years. Um, every week I was going to vocal lessons and it was such a wonderful experience. I had the best vocal coach ever. And it really taught me a lot, like just about how to get certain sounds or if you can't hit a note to just change the vowel. Um, if you're a singer and you want to be able to expand your range or hit notes that you don't think you can, I highly encourage vocal lessons. And even in this time of COVID, there's so many platforms that you can find vocal lessons on, even through Zoom. I was doing Zoom vocal lessons for a while. It really does teach you so much about the way you sing, the way you breathe when you sing, your control. And I think I finally really felt confident after like six months of vocal lessons. I felt like I understood how to control my voice and the sounds I wanted. And that's really when I was like, all right, let's fucking do this shit. Like, it's time, beach. What state of mind have you been in lately since Dark Sour Drop? I felt so good. I think I had so much subconscious weight on my shoulders just knowing that that was my first single as an artist. And the first single is always so much pressure because that's like your step into the door and that's what people are gonna perceive you as until the next one. And it's kind of like your one shot when you're coming from the YouTube world to be taken seriously. And I couldn't be happier with the response. Like, okay, last question. What kind of mindset would you say you were in when you wrote it? I love this question because I was thinking about this the other day. I've had this thought a lot since the song came out or even before it came out, the month before it came out, I listened to it. I realized that I don't even think I knew what I was writing when I wrote it. The song is clearly from a dark place and a little bit of a cry for help and writing it, I don't think I thought anything was wrong. But like I said also, I've grown so, so much and I cannot be more thankful. And it's also really beautiful to have that as a little check mark in my life of like, oh man, look back at that and like, look at how far you've come. But yeah, that got really deep. So that was weird. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait for you to hear my second single. It's my favorite song I've ever written. If that's why I wanted it to be the first single, but. This one's gonna blow your mind. Um, the music video is fucking sick. We just shot it yesterday, last night. So I can't wait for you to see it. Ah! Okay, until then, I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything. I literally don't know where I would be or who I would be without you lovely people. So I love you. Okay, bye.